Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the cricket happenings with the news that India have been crushed in the second one day international here at Amban Tota. In fact, a nine wicket victory for Sri Lanka. In fact, uh, Sri Lanka played with clinical precision, which I'll be talking about. So the match was just ended here at the Mahinda Rajapaksa International Cricket Stadium here in Humber Tota, the same ground where the first one day was played, where India had a victory. But today, Sri Lanka absolutely crushed India because India were bowled out for 138. And in reply, Sri Lanka replied with 139 for one, a nine wicket victory, a comprehensive victory here of Sri Lanka. And thus they have leveled with India in this particular one day series, five match series, one one right now. So let's look at the Indian innings. India, it was uh, Sri Lanka who uh, were the ones who were bowling first uh, and India batted first. And uh, well, as far as India's uh, card is concerned, uh, if you look at it, well, initially uh, 31 runs were scored uh, with lots of confusion uh, in the Sri Lankan camp where there was a blustery wind blowing. It was very difficult to control the swing. It was very difficult to control the line and length. The bowlers, uh, Usra Udana on his debut, was going all over the place. He was being carved for boundaries too. There were a lot of misfields. There were a lot of overthrows. Everything was happening and nothing was going Sri Lanka's way. And India were 31 for no loss after fourth over. But after that, things started happening for Sri Lanka. As first wicket to go was Virendra Sehwag. Virendra Sehwag uh, tried to smash a ball from Pereira uh, right, from the uh, right from the place he was. But uh, Pereira brought up a wonderful catch. In fact, it was a marvelous catch from Pereira, diving full length and plucking it as it was going past him. It was, it was tremendous force. And Seva was the first man to go. Cotton ball Pereira for 15 of 15 balls with two fours. So that was wicket number one. India were 31 for one. Uh, Virat Kohli, the centurion, walked in to join Gautam Gambhir at the other end. And Virat Kohli uh, was an early victim today. He fished at a ball from Pereira outside the off stump. Sangakra did the ca take, took the catch. He was gone for one of five balls. Score became 33 for two in the sixth over. Rohit Sharma came in and uh, Rohit Sharma dragged the ball onto his stumps for a duck. It did not trouble the scorers at all of five deliveries. He was gone and Suresh Raina chopped the ball onto his stumps for the balling of Pereira for one of just five deliveries. And India were in a sorry situation at 41 for four. In walked in Captain Dhoni to join Gambhir. Gambhir was uh, just staying there. Uh, he knew that the wickets were uh, just uh, tumbling around him and he decided to stay at the crease and uh, as and when any opportunity presented. He was uh, hitting the loose balls for boundaries. Mahindra Singh Dhoni started off with two, uh, two good boundaries, but uh, that was it for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Uh, trying to force a ball off the back foot of the bowling of Angelo Matthews, Sangakra took the catch as he got an inside edge onto that. He was gone for 11. India were reduced to 60 for five. The half the side was gone for 60. In came Irfan Patan to join Gambhir, and Gambhir was looking for a partner, but Irfan Patan also disappointed this time. Malinga taking his wicket as uh, Malinga got uh, Irfan Patan to get squared up and the ball ballooned and Pereira took an easy catch and he was gone for six. India scored 79 for six in the 20th over. But the man who was staying there was Gautam Gambhir. Gautam Gambhir was uh, there. He was joined in Rashwin and Ashwin came in and gave some good support and looked like uh, from the 20th over if Ashwin could give some support because he had the uh, all-round capabilities. One thought that uh, Ashwin would be able to give support to Gambhir and take it over. Everything was going well and that was a very good partnership uh, which was going on. It was al almost at 28 runs and was doing a good job for India. And that was a, a needless run out by Ashwin. Uh, in fact, not looking at Gambhir and running and he was gone. Run out for 21 of 15 deliveries with three fours. In walked in Zahir Khan and Gautam Gambhir was stranded at the other end uh, not knowing what to do. But uh, you know, Gautam Gambhir he just needed some support from the other um, uh, tail -enders, but he couldn't get any as uh, Zahir Khan was uh, trapped LBW by Rangana Herod for two and then the tail was uh, completely washed out. Pragyan Oja was claimed by uh, uh, claimed by Sangakra behind the wickets of the bowling of Matthews for five. Uh, Umesh Shah was not out or not and the end Gambhir uh, in the 34th over India were all out for 138 with Gambhir being the last man out um, almost you know carrying his bat through the innings there. He was caught behind as he tried to glide a ball to third man of the bowling of Malinga. Sangakra posed the catch. He was the highest scorer with 65 of 96 balls with 4 forward. He couldn't get any support from the middle order or the lower order and India sank to 138 all out. Uh, look at and the bowling. Well, the person who did the damage there was Tisra Pereira and Angel Matthews. Tisra Pereira in particular, 
8 overs, 3 maidens, 19 runs and 3 wickets, bowled excellently. Angela Matthews, 7 overs, 2 maidens, 14 runs and 3 wickets. As I said, there was a blustery wind blowing, but they controlled it. Isro Dhanan, his debut, went 6 overs, went for 42. And Malinga, 7.3 overs, no maiden, 236. And Langana had 5 overs, no maiden, 1 for 21. But no excuses for India uh, putting up such a shoddy display being all out for 138 and giving Sri Lanka this, inning, uh, this particular match on a platter. Uh, well, as far as Sri Lanka were concerned, well for Sri Lanka, 138 uh, seemed to be absolutely a walk in the park and that it was. The opening partnership started clubbing the boundaries. It was uh, Dilshan and Taranga putting on a century partnership, opening uh, partnership uh, with a century, no, a century of 119 runs that they put for the first wicket with Dilshan, with uh, Zahir Khan and Fan Patan not hitting uh, the right lines and uh, getting taken for runs and uh, there was not much that Yumesh Yadav could do. Yumesh Yadav was also taken for runs. Um, I mean, I mean, that could, we didn't see Pragya Oja being used much. In fact, uh, Sri Lanka finished off the match uh, in the 20th over itself for the loss of just one wicket and that was Tilakun and Dilshan was caught behind the bowling of Ashwin for 50 or 49 balls with five fours. Now Upal Taranga would have done, done his, uh, done his uh, form a bit of uh, good by getting this, uh, um, getting this knock of 59 not out of 60 balls with 8 fours and the victory came for Sri Lanka in the 20th over, the crushing victory there. Chandimal was not out on 6 who actually hit the winning run a boundary of the bowling of uh, Pragyan Oja. He was not out on 6 and Sri Lanka as I said walk in the park there 138 and Sri Lanka made 139 for 1 to level the series 1-1 one, one right now in this 5 match series. It makes it really interesting and uh, Sri Lanka really has to be commended for the way they play today, coming back very strongly after losing the first one-day international. Look at the bowling figures. The bowling figures uh, went for a toss for India. Zahid Khan couldn't give the breakthrough. Six overs cost him 39 runs. Irfan Patan today was a bit off color. Four overs cost him 27. Usman Yadav, uh, Umesh Yadav, four overs went for 38. He has been a bit costly in both the day years, I would say. Ravi Chandra Ashwin was the one who was the economical and also had the solitary wicket of Dilshan. Uh, of course, Sri Lanka to fall. Ashwin, four, five was one made one for 18. Pragyan Oja bowled just five deliveries, none for seven. As I said, Sri Lanka finished off the match in the 20th over with a run rate of seven per over. India went at 4.11 per over, but Sri Lanka uh, did it very, very, uh, very, very well by actually clubbing it at seven runs per over to close the match in the 20th over itself. What a victory for Sri Lanka and congratulations to Sri Lanka for getting a very good victory there against India. It really, really uh, you know, sets the scene for the third one, the international. Now, uh, for India, well, I wouldn't, I mean, there's not really not much to talk about. It was not a good display by India at all. Uh, India had to really, really work hard. Uh, in the, I mean, they had to do well in the next, uh, one. as you know, Sri Lanka came very close to India's uh, knock-off. So that itself proves that uh, Sri Lanka uh, looks to be really gaining in strength because their batting the other day uh, came to the fore, even though they lost the match by only a margin of 21 runs. Today, the bowlers came to the party. And as I said, uh, the wind was good, but uh, well, I thought the Sri Lankan bowlers were able to, initially they were not able to control, but that um, Tisera Pereira, according to me, was the turning point, and Angelo Matthews, who really did them in with those six wickets between them. Well, on this note, uh, dear fans, friends, and subscribers, on this, uh, with this live cricket update coming in from the Hambantota Cricket Ground in Sri Lanka, where India have lost the second one-day international by nine wickets and we go into the third one-day international sound. So the, the series is right now level on 1-1. One, one. Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, be talking about anything else. Uh, today I have to leave for work a bit early today. But uh, thanks for your company and thanks for watching Cricket Happenings. Your host, Ram, signing off for the day. Thank you.